Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us for this segment, we have Justin Zaks, Vice President of Strategy at Moomoo US, Derek Brody, Vice President of Strategy at Moomoo Canada. We have Gavin Chia, Chief Executive Officer of Moomoo Financial Singapore, Francisca Izawa, President of Moomoo Securities Japan, Jessica Amir, Market Strategist at Moomoo Australia. We also have Dennis G, Chief Operating Officer of Moomoo Malaysia. They join us to discuss a emerging trends and creating a technology-powered trading experience for a global client base. It is great to see everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. And let's start at the top here. The YouTube of trading, e-trading, with user-generated content that is considered even better than research reports for investors as a next-generation trading app looking to share the future of investment Mumu is committed to making trading affordable to everyone. Tell us how Mumu positions its online brokerage business in Asia and globally. How does Mumu st uh, stand and how do you stand out from the competition? Thank you for this wonderful opportunity to contribute to the conversation. Mumu is a leading global investment and trading platform dedicated to empowering investors with user-friendly tools, data, and insights. At Mumu, our utmost dedication lies in providing an unparalleled investment app experience. Our core competitive advantage can be summarized in five key aspects that set us apart. Great data, an exceptional trading experience, competitive fees, a seamless user experience, and personalized customer service. Our platform provides a comprehensive range of features and tools designed to assist investors in making well-informed investment choices in taking charge of their financial futures. We prioritize investor education. As demonstrated by our app's educational videos and inf informational bubbles that guide users in understanding markets and utilizing its various features. Whether it's beginning traders utilizing paper trading to develop strategies or experienced traders accessing advanced tools, Mumu empowers users at every stage of their investing journey. Moreover, our unique in-app social community encourages global interaction among our users, facilitating the exchange of thoughts and trading ideas. With a growing client base, Mumu now boasts over 21 million users worldwide. Derek, in particular in North America, do you see any emerging trends regarding investment behaviors as more people embrace trading apps like Mumu and seek technology powered trading experiences? We've seen Moomoo as one of the most popular trading apps has achieved notable user growth in North America over the past few years. In December 2023, the Moomoo app became the most downloaded Android financial app on Google Play in Canada. There's a growing trend that more people, especially younger generations, tend to increase their online trading activities. I would say trading apps have revolutionized the financial services industry and the global rise of trading apps is a testament to the power of technology. User-friendly platform, comprehensive tools and resources paired with technological integration were contributing factors to the popularity of online trading. Just as Justin, Justin mentioned, what sets us, sets us apart from our competitors is our commitment to constantly drive innovation, bringing pro-level features and diversified investment choices to meet our users' demands. In Canada, Moomoo offers investors extended trading hours so that they can take advantage of pre and post market trading opportunities for example, Canadian investors can trade in the U.S. market from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Going forward, we will continue to optimize our offerings to make investing easy and more accessible to all Canadians. Let's shift gears and talk about another region. Moomoo is serving retail investors in Australia, Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, Canada, and the U.S. How do you see the difference in terms of local client portfolios when they are investing in the U.S. markets, how different their investor behaviors are? Just you know, the examples in Australia, Japan, and Singapore alone, with the time difference in which they are in APAC. How do the retail investors' risk appetite and trading hours differ from each other as they are different or perhaps the same? What does Moomoo do in order to meet investors' different needs? Gavin? Uh, yes, I, I mean, Singapore has a diverse community of retail investors, many of whom have a deep appreciation of the investment opportunities in different markets globally. These investors fit different profiles according to their investment goals and risk appetites. But it is clear that U.S. market is still an attractive avenue for those who want a bit more growth in their portfolios. So big tech stocks, for, for instance, for examples, has been a huge favorite 
for many in Singapore, given the rising trends in AI and also big data. Conversely, Singapore stocks offer investors a sense of securities and familiarity, given that many of these stocks are local brands that Singaporeans grew up with. The local stock market is also generally seen as less volatile and is also a good source of dividends. Ultimately, many investors are looking to build a diverse portfolio and investing in different markets is one of the easiest ways to achieve these diversifications. The next steps then is to empower our users with the tools to meet their investment objective. With the introduction of 24 hours US stocks trading in Singapore, investors can trade over a few hundred US stocks and ETF 24 hours a day, five days a week. This will give investors greater flexibilities to trade based on investment moving events that happens outside of regular trading hours. Lastly, we believe in the importance of financial education to help investors achieve their financial objective. Other than the wealth of materials related to US stocks trading on Moolan, we also encourage users to engage with fellow investors on Moolan community and to follow our regular commentaries on the US stocks market and stocks. Taken together, we believe our users will have the full suites of tools to achieve their financial aspirations. Yeah, thank you. And in terms of the investor landscape in Japan, if we can have some insight from there. Sure. So uh, in Japan, uh, we've been seeing an increase, a steady increase in U.S. equity investing, especially from younger generation who are much more open-minded. And uh, really, in the past 10 years, that uh, growth has been uh, quite uh, steady. Um, you know, they have started to invest from ETF, which is a little bit more, you know, risk adverse and, and easy to get into. But we see that now the investment behavior is spreading into individual names such as NVIDIA and Tesla, right? Those flying uh, stocks. Now, in Japan, there are two barriers for trading U.S. stocks. And one is the time difference and the other one is language. And when it comes to time difference, as you know, uh, you, you may have heard from, from the other offices, we are providing 24 hours trading in Japan as well. And we're the only one uh, you, you're doing that in Japan. So we think that we're really contributing in terms of filling that aspect of the gap. Now, the other one is really the language issue. Uh, people may not realize, but you know, many of the Japanese people don't speak you know, uh, English. They are not comfortable uh, you know, reading information in English. So what we have done is that in our Moomoo app, we provide auto-translated services. And for, uh, you know, news and also videos so that people can see these things in real time. And this is very, very important. Uh, as we provide these kind of services, we see more and more experienced investors coming into our app and trading U.S. equities. Now, when you have like more experienced investors, then, you know, services such as NASA Total View become very, very important because they know how to use them and they know how to trade using those. And Jessica, from the perspective of an Australian investor. Yeah, quite similar to uh, to what we're seeing in Japan. We've seen Australians increasingly uh, tilt their portfolios to the US. And by that, I mean, over the past three years, we've seen um, Australians increasingly invest uh, in the US. So initially, uh, I guess uh, some three years ago, uh, the percentage of direct share ownership of Australians was around 10%. And now, would you believe direct share ownership in US shares stands at 16? It's more so uh, with ETF exposure. So Aussies are increasingly also preferring to invest in, uh, in ETFs. If we have a look at the investors' intentions of investing in the US, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, we're seeing that there's a huge increased appetite in younger generation investors and also female investors as well. But when we think about the why, uh, this is where it's also most interesting. So we're seeing unparalleled growth opportunities, of course, in the US. We've all, we've all spoken about that. We've all seen that. But uh, without a question of a doubt, the strongest forward compound annual growth rates uh, across all sectors um, are in AI. So they're in those um, beneficiaries 
of the forward compound annual growth rate spending that are likely to um, to be invested in hardware. Um, and the hardware is what's essential to driving innovation and change. I mean, uh, billions of dollars is being forked out by big tech, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, Meta, et cetera. These companies can't innovate without investing in chips. So that's why we're seeing Aussies and investors across the world increasingly focus on on chip technology. Not only that, but we've seen um, investors in Australia and also the US uh, increasingly explore um, med tech investing. So Nova Nordisch really put uh, the spotlight on healthcare um, investing as well. And so we know that they're expanding their collaboration uh, with NVIDIA. And so Aussie investors are really excited about that. But one of the huge barriers for entry for investors in Australia, just like the rest of the world, is that lack of understanding and education. And we've spoken about education uh, today and the tools that we give investors that are, I guess you could say, unlike any other um, app in Australia. But I'd go one step further and I'd say that we also uh, give our investors institutional tools. So all investors, retail investors, get access to institutional tools. And what I mean by that is we all know that earnings growth drives share price growth. Regardless of where you're investing, you want to be investing in a company with strong earnings growth rates. And our app allows investors to easily see this information in an easy to understand format. It's easy to understand and they can uh, access this information at the click of a finger. Uh, so they can see a company's forward financials if institutional investors are buying, say, for example, more shares in, say, Occidental Petroleum. Are they buying um, shares in NVIDIA? Um, also, we can see where uh, the estimates are for their earnings and their cash flow. Again, uh, this is just another way that our investors, people who use Moomoo, have an edge and also we know um, earnings growth drives share price growth and so too to earnings upgrades. Our app also gives that access to um, broker analysis. So at the click of a finger without using, without paying for software on other terminals, for example, you can see uh, whether a broker has upgraded a stock and what their new price target is. And just rounding it all out, we've all spoken about the 24-hour five trading. Um, this really um, comes to full circle and investors really get to experience the benefit of this around US reporting earnings season. And we've seen some of our clients across Moomoo globally um, really up their ante and boost their profitability because we are offering this 24-5 trading. It's particularly um, enacted around reporting season time. And last but not least, if I could say one final thing, we all know a Harvard research has found that when you combine fundamental analysis with technical analysis, you can outperform the market. Um, investors don't need to uh, go and study technical analysis. Mumu, I guess, demystifies what TA or technical analysis is. And, um, and we scan the entire market, all the TA indicators, and we'll simply tell our investors if a stock is bullish or bearish across different time zones. And it just allows, allows them to get that edge. Um, and then, of course, while they're, while they're deciding to enact that trade or invest, they're going to get a return on their cash. So we're offering 6.8% return on their uninvested cash for 180 days. So it's um it's a really good opportunity for investors. And Dennis, of course, building trust among users in the world of fintech is key. Looks like Mumu has been doing a good job in terms of establishing a reputation for reliability and security across different regions. Could you share a bit more about how you ensure investor protection? Sure. Um, at Mumu, investor protection is at the heart of everything that we do. Uh, our mission is very simple, to empower investors with the tools, resources, and safeguards necessary to navigate global markets with confidence. We understand that trust is paramount. That's why we go above and beyond to establish a comprehensive framework of protection for our clients. Our rigorous risk management practices and strategic partnership with trusted world trust custom banks guarantee the safety and securities of user assets, maintaining the highest level of financial securities. 
These structures means that your fund and securities are held independently, offering exceptional protections. Mumu is also licensed and regulated across multiple countries. We hold about over 50 licenses and membership with premier financial bodies. For example, ASIC, MAS, the SEC, SFC, and New York Stock Exchange. In Malaysia, we are among the first global digital brokerage firms to earn the Capital Market Services License by the Security Commission Malaysia. Earning this license underscore our commitment to the highest industry standards and is also a strong endorsement of our platform's operational excellence, fairness, and securities for Malaysia investors. Data securities is also paramount to us. We utilize robust encryptions and industry-leading securities measures to safeguard our user personal and financial information. We are committed to maintain the highest standards of data protections, ensuring confidentiality and privacy. At Mumu, investor protection is not just a priority, but a fundamental pillar of our platforms. We create a safe, secure, and regulated environment that instills trust and confidence in our user, allowing them to pursue in their investment goals with peace of mind. This commitment has earned us a strong reputation, attracting a global community over 21 million investors, including more than 120,000 Malaysian investors who trust us with their financial futures. And Justin, it's been a successful journey for Mumu over the past years. And now you have strong teams taking care of work across different regions. What's next? What, what, what's next for the business plan? With the customer always top of mind, we're going to continue to innovate the trading experience and analytical tools while offering a diverse product portfolio in response to the evolving needs of global investors. At Mumu, we're thrilled with the remarkable success we've achieved so far. Building upon this strong foundation, our next steps involve strategic global expansion. Mumu will continue to expand our presence in key markets worldwide, capitalizing on the growing demand for innovative investment solutions. This won't be possible without our global partners. By working closely with our partners in different regions, uh, we'll further expand our reach and deliver localized services that meet the unique needs of each market. Take the global strategic partnership with NASDAQ as an example. We're working together to provide the best experience for in-depth market data to all our users globally. Leveraging the collaboration with NASDAQ, we'll be launching even more educational programs. This educational content will be provided to help investors at all levels understand how to invest in U.S. stocks using NASDAQ TotalView. This includes an overview of the U.S. market structure, which investors in the Asia-Pacific region might not be familiar with, as well as an introduction to different types of investment solutions such as ETFs and options, as well as the application of real-time market data. All right, Mumu team, we appreciate the insight. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks, and thanks for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.